Okay, so the last thing that we're going to do for this chapter uh, is we're going to look at the supplemental video of some dude firing a bullet into his block of wood. And we're going to look at that from a lot of different perspectives. So we've got a block of wood. We have a bullet and the bullet goes into the block of wood the block of wood is on a string and so it swings up to there and uh... let's just make a random assumption that seems reasonable let's say it swung up say thirty degrees okay so now uh, we know that he said that the wood was 10 ounces so instead of saying 10 ounces we're gonna call that um, 0 0.28 kilograms and so let's figure out some various, let, let's just dive right into it. Well, we're going to say that that bullet, it was a 22 caliber bullet, and if you look online, it says that a 22 caliber bullet is about 2.6 grams, and so, you know, it's really, it's really not, if we really want to get into it, and this is kind of getting ridiculous because of how big the numbers are, but let's just say um, wood without bullet, this is absolutely ludicrous that I'm going out to this uh, many significant digits, and uh, any physics teacher watching this right now is, is going to just be really upset with me. Um, so this is actually ridiculous, but I'm just going to, just so you can see how the numbers go. Uh, add those two together and we're going to get uh, 6 1. So I just want to show you right now the mass of the wood is so much greater than the mass of the bullet that it just the mass of the bullet just doesn't really matter but if these were more equal I want you to be able to see how these numbers work if they were more equal it would matter more um, how this works. So. I'm going to say that if I have, um, I don't know, how, how far, so, well, I don't know, we, we probably want to know what that rise was. And we should probably just sort of estimate that. Um, I don't know, it seems to me maybe about one and a half times, one and a half times this sheet of paper. I don't know, that seems about reasonable. Let's call it 40 centimeters. So, um, so I'm going to say that the the rise was four meters, and so I'm going to come up with that the potential energy gained was mgh, and that all came from kinetic energy. So. If I say that the potential energy gained came from the kinetic energy, then I can come up with uh, mgh equals one half mv squared. My masses cancel anyway, so it doesn't even matter what the mass was right then. And so uh, let's say 2gh is equal to v squared, so v is going to be equal to square root of 2gh. So we're going to say that the velocity of the block of wood at the bottom 
was 2 times 9.81 meters per second squared times 0.4 meters square root of 2 times 9.81 times 0.4 2.8 meters per second So 2.8 meters per second is the speed of the block of the wood just after being struck by the bullet. <coughs> okay, so what that, so in terms of conservation of momentum, now if we look at conservation of momentum, I'm going to say that P1 plus P2 is going to equal P1 final plus P2 final. Now, there's only going to be one, these things, there's only going to be one object at the end. So, I'm just going to call that P final because the bullet is going to be inside the block of wood. So I'm going to say that 0 0.026 kilograms times some unknown velocity of that bullet plus 0 kilogram meters per second, which is the original momentum of the wood when it was just hanging there, is going to be equal to the wood plus the bullet, 0 0.2861 kilograms times uh, 2.8 meters per second. And so if I do that all out, V is going to be 0 0.2861 kilograms times 2.8 meters per second divided by 0 0.026 kilograms and so the velocity of that bullet when it struck the wood should come out to be 0 0.2861 times answer divided by 0 0.026 is going to be 30.8 meters per second Oh, and I see what I did wrong. Mass of the bullet, there's another zero on there. So I got to go back and uh, 0 0.2861, 0 0.2861 times 2.8 divided by 0 0.0026. And that's 308 meters per second. Okay, now what I, and then if you look on the internet uh, once again, uh, it said that high speed 0 0.22 uh, bullets are about 370 to 400 meters per second and he was shooting out of a pistol and since he was shooting out of a pistol you'd be a little bit less than that because the barrel's not as long and we're just kind of making just crazy estimates anyways um, but so there is conservational momentum in a ballistic pendulum and that is my last video for chapter 6